This week I'm having a look at the Lexus UX 250H. It's a hybrid. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. In the back of the Lexus UX there's Isofix in the two outer seats. They are within plastic guides and really nice and easy to connect to. There's top tether on the back of all three seats. They are easily accessible through the boot, not within plastic guides, but easy to connect to. Now, I could only fit two child seats in the back here, and I definitely couldn't sit between them either. Um, space is quite tight in the back here. They were easy to install though. Um, I found leg room is a bit tight as well, so with a rear facing child seat installed I could sit comfortably in front but I'm 162 centimetres and I think maybe a 180 centimetre driver would really struggle for leg room. The storage in the back is really quite minimal. There's no door bins in the back, just a little well in the handle and there's only one mat pocket on the left hand side that will hold an iPad though. And there are two cup holders in a fold down in the central seat back. They will hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup. Storage in the front is quite good. There are two cup holders in front of the gear lever. They will hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup and a large refillable water bottle fitted in there too. In front of those is a cordless phone charging well and next to that is a little pop-up 12 volt socket too. Now the central console storage box has a nice feature where you can open the lid from either side and it is nice and big and the base is lined. I found I had to keep my sunglasses in there because there was no holder in the ceiling. The glove box is quite small in here. I did manage to get my iPad and my wallet in there but without the case on the iPad. Now the door bins will hold a large refillable water bottle which is great but nothing else really fitted in there and there is the really good handle wells on the doors as well. The boot door of the Lexus UX opens with that loud beep and closes with that too. Now once you're in the boot, it's really, really small. With this really flimsy parcel shelf, oh, as you can see, it's just fallen down, that wasn't planned. Um, it's really flimsy, I found it doesn't stay in place and actually there's not enough depth there for a shopping bag to fit and most strollers that needed removing in order to fit anything in the boot. Really surprising to have such a small boot space. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot of the Lexus UX 250H. Empty, it will hold 10 shopping bags. Or the Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller and no shopping bags. Or the Brightax Flex Tandem Stroller and two shopping bags. Or the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle Single Stroller and two shopping bags. Or the Mountain Buggy Nano Compact Stroller and seven shopping bags or a small dog. The Lexus UX 250H is a really lovely smooth car to drive. It's really nice and quiet, it's really enjoyable and it's how you'd expect a luxury hybrid car to feel. The media system in the Lexus UX 250H is really confusing to use. It doesn't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto and you have to control the whole thing using the touchpad, buttons and rollers down in the central console, which I find quite confusing in themselves. When I put it into reverse, the camera image is quite nice and clear and you can mute the parking sensors with the OK button on the steering wheel. So to sum up with the Lexus UX 250H, it is a lovely car to drive. However, I haven't found it the most practical family car due to the lack of interior and especially the boot space. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au.